Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Lalique, and I'm here with my first ever theater chat. Might change the name on that, not sure yet. But what's a theater chat? So let me tell you, I just wanna sit, I wanna talk with y'all, I just wanna chat it out. Like I wanna feel like I'm with you and we're just sitting here in this pandemic just talking about the things that we like to talk about. So let's get into it. Oh, why do I look so hurt and so busted? I just got off of work and I had a really crappy day. So sad. And I was like, there are only two things that are going to make me feel better. That's theater and makeup. Maybe food. The Ratatouille musical cast was announced. And I just got to say, we just got to talk about it. I mean, period. That's all we need to talk about. That's all we need to talk about. Y'all, please don't come for my makeup skills because I never said I was a great makeup artist. I don't feel like going to the sink. First people I want to talk about, the leading men, Titus Burgess and Andrew Feldman. Feldman. Ooh, there's a D in there. I know that. Titus Burgess, he looks familiar. Okay, maybe I should have done some research before I started talking about these people. But I believe he was Sebastian in The Little Mermaid, if I'm not tripping. And he's going to be playing Remy. You know, like the actual rat. He's going to be playing the rat. Now, why do they have Andrew Feldman playing Linguini? Knowing good and well. Sorry, I'm looking for a mirror. Knowing good and well that the rat is supposed to be smaller than the man himself. I feel like, <laughs> personally, I feel like they looked at this man, Andrew Feldman, and they were like, big nose, he looks like Linguini. And that's what I feel like they did. Nothing against the big nose. I mean, clearly I have one. Oh, what did I just put on myself? Andrew Feldman is supposed to be Linguini, correct? He's supposed to be the guy who gets his hair pulled the entire movie. And Titus Burgess is supposed to be Remy. Now, am I getting this incorrect? Or like, like, are they all doing it via Zoom or something? I think they are. Because let's just like picture this in an actual theater. That would not work. Like, you can't have the rat being bigger than Linguini, I feel. I feel like that's weird. Like, I feel like it'd have to be switched where Andrew was all up in Titus's hair. You know what I mean? Anyway, so, I don't know. Now, let's talk about this lady. Ashley Park. Ashley Park, where do we know her from? Well, I know her from Mean Girls, okay? She was Gretchen Wieners. Mm -hmm. Y'all know what I'm talking about. She did the ding, 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 She's gonna play Colette. I don't think I'm a fan of that. Okay, don't get me wrong. I really, really, really like Ashley Park. Like, I'm really a huge fan of hers. And I still need to see her Netflix show. I think it's like Emily in Paris or something like that with Lily Collins. I still have yet to watch that. But I really do like her. It's just I don't see her as Colette. Like, I really, really don't. I would see more of like a Barrett Wilbert Weed playing her. Like someone dark and ominous and like giving off this hard female energy. But I feel like, like to me, Ashley is very timid looking and very like girly and sweet, like very Gretchen Wieners. But I would not see Ashley as like Regina George. I would not see Ashley as like Colette, but... I don't know. I don't know. So next we have Bertram. I mean, Kevin Chamberlain, as some people call him, but I know him as Bertram, okay? And he's going to be playing Gusto. This is perfect. I love this casting. I think it is amazing. I was honestly thinking in my head, like, who would I want to play Gusto? Like, anyone can cook. 
I really couldn't picture anyone playing the big man himself. And yet, it seems like this was just perfect. It was just perfect. Uh, it was just perfect. I really see it. Like, I've, I haven't seen this man in anything in a very long time. I know he was just in Wicked, I believe. And, of course, I saw him in the show Jesse. I mean, it was kind of beyond my years because, you know, I'm like an OG Disney Channel person. But I still saw him. I saw, like, an episode or two. And I liked him then. And I think it would be perfect as this, honestly, if we're, like, being 100%. 100% honest what y'all think like tell me in the comments what you think of these castings like are y'all thinking the same thing I'm thinking about Ashley Park or is it just me like she's the one that I really was caught off guard with aside from you know Remy and Linguini being like the opposite in real life because I'm thinking if they were ever to take this to stage okay hear me out if they were ever to take this to the actual stage after the pandemic once it's safe for everyone to return into the theater and you know be spaced out or whatever it is say like think of the money they would make you know there are millions upon millions of people who are talking about this ratatouille musical who are talking about oh my goodness this could end up on broadway could you really see titus as the rat that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I think they should flip. I see no problem with Linguini being black. And I see no problem with Andrew Feldman playing Remy. Like, I think he'd be perfect for that. But I don't know. What do I know? I'm just in my room talking. You know what I mean? But Kevin Chamberlain, 100%. I love that. I love that casting. Can we just talk about Wayne Brady being daddy rat honestly i think i'm a little biased also i've been like rubbing in this concealer for about 10 minutes jesus i think i'm a little biased when it comes to wayne brady i have loved that man for years i think he's super 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 talented i'm glad he's finally returning back to broadway because he was on um kinky boots he was in kinky boots for a short amount of time i love that man i think he'd be perfect in anything i think you make him the rat and i think i would be like 100 percent okay with that i'm a little biased but if i wasn't biased and i was just speaking on the general casting of it all which i should be anyway but who cares the dad i mean i guess he's old enough now like i guess he's a fully grown old man like i never saw wayne brady is old like a dad figure but i guess he does fit the profile i can see him with that deep baritone like voice just going in on the rat i don't know I love that man. What? What did I just say? I love that man. I think he'd be perfect as anything. I say just make a one man show and have him be everything and I would go watch. I'm all dusty now. Oh crap. I need to spray my little sponge one more time. <laughs> Adam Lambert cool child I love that boy too I think he's sorry not boy man he's a full grown man I love him too the last time I saw him because honestly I haven't thought about Adam Lambert in a minute I haven't the last time I was thinking about him is when they did the whole wicked thing you know what I'm talking about like the anniversary thing where they brought back Adina and Kristen and they had Ariana Grande singing a song and Adam Lambert was on there too singing a song. That's the last time I thought about him. But he would be playing Emil, Remy's brother. That don't make sense to me. I'm sorry, but that don't make sense to me. Like, Emil? Okay, in the cartoon version, Emil is very like silly he's very strange but he's cute and he's adorable and he's just like eating food and he's just doing what he does 
Like, why does Adam Lambert... Ugh. Him as Emil, I just don't see it. I just don't get it. I'm sure he's going to be fantastic because he's amazing in basically everything that he does. I've stuttered so much. But he's amazing in everything that he does. It's just I don't see him as Emil. It's just weird to me. Like, it just doesn't register. I just don't get it. You know what I mean? Next... We got Tony Award winner Priscilla Lopez. For all you kitties who don't know her or you're like, how does she look familiar? She, I think, orig yeah, I'm pretty sure she originated the role of Diana Morales. Oh Lord, let me look that up before I'm like saying the wrong thing. I don't know. I think it was Diana Morales um, in a chorus line. That's the role that she originated. So yeah, she goes a little way back. But she's going to be playing Mabel. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I didn't know this lady had a name. Mabel is the lady at the very, very beginning of the movie. So y'all know when Remy first started sneaking into that lady's house, it was an old lady. And she was like watching the Food Channel. And she was the one that was watching Gusto and like his home cooking and all that. And she had the book and she started shooting at the rats. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That's Mabel. Um... Is she gonna have a song? Is she gonna have a song? Because I think she should have one. Like, what is she gonna do? Just sit there and scream the whole time? It's Priscilla Lopez. Give her something bigger. But that's just my two cents. Of course, I think she's gonna be amazing. But also, it's like, the lady was in the first two seconds of the actual movie. Y'all know it wasn't two seconds. It was like five minutes, 15 minutes. But how is that gonna work? Like, is she just gonna get a couple lines and dip and like log out of her Zoom call and be like, okay, that's it. That's all I can offer. I don't know. While I'm blending this out, let's talk about three-time Tony nominee, Mary Testa. So she's gonna be in there. I remember her from, um, I think it was 42nd Street in Oklahoma. That's what I remember her from. Let me see what the internet says. Ooh, okay, so she was also in the revival of On the Town. That's like one of those shows I've actually never seen. Don't come for me. Don't come for me in the comments. But Mary Testa, she's gonna be playing Skinner, which I think is one of the most interesting things. And for those of you who are like, who's Skinner? Cause I also said that, cause in the movie they said yes chef so many times. I was like, who is Skinner? I'm thinking Skinner's the lawyer that, <laughs> that walked in and was like, you gave me rodent hair. But no, Skinner is actually the chef himself. The one who like thinks that he's going crazy cause he keeps seeing a rat. Y'all know who I'm talking about. And to have a woman play his role is so interesting to me. I don't hate the idea. I don't despise it at all. I'm just very, very interested to see like what that's going to turn out to be. Like I'm very much seeing like, I don't know, like Stephanie J. Block in falsettos. Like I'm thinking she's going to go all crazed out. Like I'm breaking down. You know what I mean? I wonder just how crazed and how loony she's gonna take the character. I think the crazed the better. I don't know, it's just very interesting to me. Like, girl, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? <laughs> that looks so trash. Oh my God. Oh, 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 not me having hooded eyes. Y'all shouldn't have let me do this. Y'all should have said, just leave that eyeliner alone because it looked all right without it. And now I just look a mess. Nikki Tutorials, where are you? James Charles, help me, help a sister out. Y'all ever do this too? Like, I know y'all just don't document it, but like, you just do a whole face. You don't know what you're about to do. And then it ends up being kind of crazy. If you said no, you lying. Okay, here was someone that I didn't know existed. Owen Tabaka. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Owen is going to be playing Young Ego. All right? Who is Ego? Ego is the food critic. 
he dislikes one of the dishes and then that breaks Gusto's heart and that's the reason that he dies. Ooh, maybe I should have said this was a spoiler alert. Spoiler alert, Gusto is dead. <laughs> Gusto died. <laughs> Yo, what is wrong with me? Um, so young ego is gonna be Owen. Now, let's talk about that too, because in the movie, spoiler alert again, this whole video is a spoiler alert. Like, how have you not seen Ratatouille? Ego is the one who like, he has this whole flashback when he finally eats the Ratatouille to him when he was a child. And that was like, if I'm thinking correctly, that's the only time we ever saw that. That's the only time we ever saw like him as a kid unless in the musical version, they're gonna sit there and like go back countless times to him when he was a child, which would be interesting, which would give us more insight into this guy. Y'all should know that my eyebrows are gonna be wonky because when is the last time I had them done? It's been like a year and I can't even blame that on the pandemic. Y'all, the adult ego, is gonna be Mr. Andre DeShields. I, I'm gagged, okay? I am completely shook. I think this is perfect. I don't care. You know what, Andre could walk in being like a cheese block, a block of cheese. A cheese block? A block of cheese. And I'd be like, perfect, amazing. He was great. And the fact that he is gonna be the villain I love it. I love it. I think it's amazing. I love his voice. If y'all are wondering where you know him from, um, the most recent thing that he was just in was Hades Town. Y'all know I did that raggedy video. Y'all remember that raggedy video I did where I tried to like emulate him and it did not work because he's perfect. Yeah. Basically what I'm trying to say is I love that man. I think he's a great actor. Um, and I just feel like he's gonna capture everything that there is to this villain that we don't really know that much about. I mean, if you think about the movie, what do we know about this man? All we know is that he's salty, that Gusto is so successful, but why? Were they friends? Was it like a Hamilton and Burr situation? Like, what's with this guy? What's his deal with Gusto? And What's his deal with Ratatouille? All we know is like it reminds him of his childhood. Was your childhood great? If your childhood was great, then why all this saltiness? Like who broke your heart? Why is it like that? So we covered all of the leaves. Now let's cover the ensemble. Here are all the names. And let me tell y'all, I should have done some research. Like I said, it came out today. I was at work all day and I just was like, I need to make a video on this. I wanna to talk to other people. I wanna see what other people feel about this casting. Do they feel the same way I do? I didn't do anything in depth and crazy. I just looked at the ensemble list and I was like, okay. Some of these names look familiar. Talia looked really familiar. Y'all gotta tell me where she's from. Okay, so I see the woman from Six the Musical who played the, um, that's her, right? I think I saw Sam Pauly. Y'all know who that is. She is also in Six the Musical and she plays Katherine Howard and the girl got pipes, okay? She can sing, she can't sing, she can sing. All right, she's gonna make you sing, okay? Like, I saw her singing, I was like, I gotta sing too. She's amazing, she's fantastic. And she's really funny, and she's also on TikTok. She looks like a doll. Let me read what this website says, y'all. It says, will feature original songs created by musical theater lovers on, on popular, social media apps they should have just said tiktok like what else has it been on is there some youtube stuff on there and it's going to be played by a 20 piece orchestra which is really really cool um 
The event is set to stream for 72 hours starting Friday, New Year's Eve day. The beneficiary, the Actors Fund, has been supporting out-of-work performers and crews since Broadway shut down in March due to the ongoing coronavirus pandemic. So that's amazing. I think it's so crazy that it's going to be streaming for 72 hours. Like, what are they going to be doing that entire time? Are they just going to be singing for 72 hours? Are they going to come in and out? Are they going to have shifts? Are they going to have doubles? Like, that entire time? How do you guys feel about this? Like, tell me the truth. I think it's going to be fun and I think it's going to be really cool. And I don't know, I'm kind of jealous. Like, I wish I would have put out something. I wish I would have been a part of it. I wish I could have done something to like be in it, but I guess I'm not cool enough. Let me see, hold on. We gotta pause this whole video so you can see the highlight. Oh! <laughs> like a glazed donut, you feel me? Ooh, don't look at my edges, look at my highlight. Ooh, ooh, not y'all looking at my edges when I said look at my highlight. In conclusion, I think this is going to slap. I'm definitely tuning in and I'm definitely going to be there. Maybe not for the entire 72 hours because that seems kind of ridiculous, but <coughs> I don't have Corona. Just want to see how it's going to work. I think Andrew's going to be magnificent. And I would love to see how Titus is going to be as the rat himself, the man, the myth, the legend. But I am so, so, so interested, so interested to see how Ashley Park is as Colette and how um, Mary Testa is as Skinner. I think those are the two that I'm really going to be looking out for. How is that going to work? What are the accents going to be like? Like... How great are those going to be? And then I also saw that they had a choreographer. So is this going to be like a Zoom thing where they're at their house singing and possibly dancing? Or are they all coming together? I don't know. Y'all probably know more than me. Let me know. Tell me what you think. And let me know if you want to keep doing these. Like more theater chats with me. Because I think it's super fun. I would love to hear what you guys think. Go ahead. Like subscribe and share this content with everyone that you know or just one friend or just send it to yourself i think it would be fun to get more people in this family i can't wait to see you guys in the next one be safe love you guys bye